If you're like me, a photographer or videographer that needs to spend a large amount of time hiking outdoors in less than favorable conditions, then you know the pains of trying to find a camera backpack that's actually comfortable on your back. Now I know there are so many different kinds of camera backpack brands out there, but there are very few of them that are actually specifically made for hiking, and even less of them out there that are able to accommodate a lot of gear. Enter Nia Evo. This is a company that has dedicated themselves to creating the best adventure backpack, and they've kindly sent me the Fiat 60C backpack for me to review. I've been doing wildlife photography and videography for the past 10 years, and I've had to carry big telephoto lenses, heavy camera equipment, and hike long distances through jungle terrains. Now, I've tried different kinds of camera backpacks out there, but none of them really seem to fit, and they've always caused me shoulder and back pains. 10 years ago, I was completely okay with that, but now as age starts to catch up, I can really feel it in my shoulders and my back and my knees. So I'm on the quest to look for that perfect backpack, something that's able to merge the needs of a photography-oriented bag along with the merits of a hiking bag. So I've had the privilege of bringing this out, the Fjord 60C, on some of my recent outings. So let's talk about that. The two things that really stood out to me as I was using this backpack was how comfortable it was hiking over long distances and also how much gear it was able to fit within this backpack. So, starting with the back of the backpack, the first thing you're going to notice is how thick and padded this uh, waist strap is. Now this is really important, especially if you are going to do a lot of hiking because most of the weight that you want is going to be actually on your hips and this is really crucial because you want 80% of the weight of the backpack to be on your hips so that your shoulders do not feel any strain. Now additionally, you'll also notice that this waist strap is actually removable so you can actually change it out if you want to. Um, I also really like the fact that there is this molly system on the waist strap which means that you can attach various things onto the waist strap. So over here what I've got on one side is a torch when I go out for my night shoots and uh, on the other side I have this pouch which carries some of my everyday carry essentials for wildlife photography and this includes things like a um, you know, LED light or a pan or cleaning solutions. As we move up, you will see these shoulder straps are also very very thickly padded but more importantly I think what's missing in a lot of other camera backpacks is this adjustable um, torso height system. So what you do is actually there are three different heights that you can adjust these shoulder straps to fit your particular body length. And this is something that you don't get to see on a lot of camera uh, backpacks out there, but you do see on hiking bags. And of course, we have this which is a chest strap, which definitely gives you added comfort uh, when you're out hiking. Inside the backpack, there's also an aluminium frame which you can't see right now, but it provides additional stability and comfort when you wear this backpack. Now, if we move on to the front of the backpack, you will notice that this entire backpack is made from a material that's a nylon fabric, and that's actually really tough and weather resistant, something that you would definitely want in an adventure backpack. And you also notice all these zippers around. They are very big and very easy to pull, which makes things very convenient. And uh, also what I really like are the two side pockets over here. I know that not every camera backpack out there has these side pockets, but I do really like them if you want to put things like water bottles or umbrellas, um, tripods or monopods, right? So I think that really every camera backpack should have these side pockets as well. Now let's take a look inside the backpack and how you can access your camera equipment. Now this backpack is back access only. Um, I would love to have seen a side access. I think their new Fjord 50C camera backpack has that but for now, it's just going to be back access for this 60C uh, backpack, right? So if we open up over here, you will notice that there is a ton of space inside here. And what I really like about this brand is that they have this system called uh, RCI or Removable Camera Insert. Basically what it is, it's a replaceable solution for whatever um, gear needs that you might have. So what I have here is the RCI Large, uh, which houses a lot of gear, but they also make um, these RCIs in different sizes, medium and small, depending on your camera needs and requirements. Right, so for me, I do wildlife photography and videography, and I need these long telephoto lenses in addition to regular lenses as well. And these are all able to fit in the RCI Large and more. So the good thing is that I can actually fit my camera attached with the long lens that I use uh, inside this RCI large system, which means that I don't have to be changing lenses. I can straight away take the camera out and go and shoot if I see something out in the field. Right? The pockets are really deep as well in this RCI system, and you can fit um, all kinds of different lenses vertically down um, through these deep pockets. Now I know if you're going to travel and uh, carry along this backpack with you, there might be certain weight limitations. 
Now, I know that uh, most airlines don't actually check your carry-on weight, but if somehow they do and they find that your particular backpack is over the weight limit, the good thing is that you can actually just remove this RCI system, zip it up, and then just bring it along with you as carry-on and check in the rest of the backpack. This way, your camera equipment, you know that it will remain safe. Now, if you are allowed onto the airplane with this bag as a carry-on, then you should know that this bag actually is able to fit onto the airplane overhead compartments as well. Now, the smaller size this bag can go is actually 44 liters, but it's actually expandable up to 60 liters, which I will just show you in a minute. So if I put this backpack up, you will notice that there's this top compartment here which is folded down. Now this backpack is actually 44 liters at its smaller size and that will fit onto most overhead compartments in airplanes. But let's say if you want to you know, have more gear, put in more accessories or bring along more food, this bag is actually expandable with this roll top design system up to 60 liters um, and you have this zip over here which will keep everything inside this roll top system safe. Now, there are so many other features of this backpack, but you can go and read about them on their website or go and watch other people's review on this backpack. But I'm providing my perspective from the view of a wildlife photographer and videographer. Ever since I got this backpack, I've actually been able to spend more time out in the field because I do not have all my shoulder and back pains anymore. And I realized I can actually fit a lot more equipment in there and more time out in the field translates to better pictures. You definitely cannot put a price on that, especially if you're going into more extreme environments like myself where I'm in the forest a lot, I'm doing a lot of hiking with all my camera equipment. A good backpack is definitely a must to have. This backpack, besides the 60 liter one that I have over here, actually comes in 36 liters and the newest one, the 50 liters as well. And the removable camera inserts come in various sizes as well, um, large, medium and small. So you definitely can find one that will fit your needs. Now I know the price of these backpacks are steep, but if you're buying a backpack that can last you for 10 years or more, and you calculate the cost per year, it's actually really, really worth it. Plus, I have a discount for you. If you use the link down below, you can actually get 10% off for any backpack that you purchase from Nia Evo.